Worldwide, more than 2 million people are diagnosed with invasive breast cancer each year. In the UK, around 55,000 women and 400 men are diagnosed with breast cancer every year. And with this, there are around 11,500 breast cancer deaths in the UK every year, which equates to 32 per day. So the question I have is, has breast cancer outcome improved at all over the years? Are more people surviving the disease? Or are more people dying from the disease? Stick around to find out. Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha and I'm a breast surgeon. So, are more people living or dying following a breast cancer diagnosis? A recent study conducted by researchers at the Oxford Population Health has found that women who are diagnosed with early stage breast cancer today are less likely to die from the disease within five years of diagnosis compared to 20 years ago. They analyzed data routinely collected from the National Cancer Registration and Analysis Service. It included over 500,000 women who were diagnosed with early breast cancer in England between January 1993 and December 2000. And 15. These women were followed until December 2020. The analysis excluded women who received neoadjuvant chemotherapy, have multifocal disease, and women who have metastatic breast cancer. They defined early invasive breast cancer as disease detected only in the breast or in the case of women with node positive disease, the breast and axillary lymph nodes with no evidence of metastatic disease. That means disease elsewhere in the body. The data analyzed included pathological staging, so that's tumor size and number of positive axillary nodes, the grade of the cancer, as well as the estrogen receptor status. For women diagnosed during 2010 and 2015, human epidermal growth factor receptor 2 or HER2 status was also included. The surgery the women had was either breast conservation surgery or mastectomy. So here are some of the key findings. The risk of death for women with early invasive breast cancer was 14% on average when diagnosed during the 1990s. This is compared to 5% if diagnosed during 2010 and 2015. The risk of death due to breast cancer for all women was highest during the five years after diagnosis and then it declined. So, it increased during the two years following diagnosis, it peaked during the third year, and then declined after. To assess whether decrease in breast cancer mortality was due to increases in breast screening, they did a separate analysis. And the researchers found that for patients with a diagnosis of either screen-detected or non-screen-detected cancers, the annual breast cancer mortality rates showed similar patterns, but with lower values in women with screen detected compared to non-screen detected. When the researchers compared ER positive versus ER negative cancers, annual breast cancer mortality peaked during the third year in both groups, but at a much higher rate in ER negative disease. Beyond three years, annual breast cancer mortality rates decreased in both groups, but more rapidly in ER negative than ER positive disease. So that beyond 10 years, Women who have ER-positive disease have a higher mortality rate than those with ER-negative disease. So, what was the impact of screening on mortality? Because, of course, screening, screening mammograms or the screening program will pick up smaller cancers with presumed better outcomes. Well, the improvements in breast cancer mortality seen in women with screen-dissected cancers were paralleled by improvements in those whose cancers were not screen-detected. And so increases in screening can't solely explain the decrease in breast cancer mortality. From the data, we can say that for most women diagnosed with early invasive breast cancer today, the five-year risk of breast cancer death is likely to be less than 3%, which is less than three in 100. So what are the reasons behind this improved mortality? Well, it's difficult to determine the exact reason or reasons behind this, although it is likely to be multifactorial. There have been major advances in treatment over recent years. New chemotherapy drugs, including immunotherapy, as well as surgery and radiotherapy are now far better targeted than before. The use of the drug trastuzumab in her to positive disease has had a positive impact, resulting in reduced mortality in those with her to positive disease 
compared to those with HER2 negative disease. Increased breast awareness, screening and improved imaging techniques may have contributed to reducing the cancer mortality, but may in some cases have led to earlier diagnosis and longer survival, but not necessarily changing the clinical course of the disease. So it looks like more and more people are surviving a breast cancer diagnosis. This is extremely encouraging. I'll see you in the next one.